shinier and smoother. Um, the raw silk has been rust dyed. I found this rusty grate and I laid the fabric over it with some, uh, you can use vinegar, um, to like kind of activate the dye process. And so you can see part of the rust. So this was like the grate. Um, I'm really into rust dyeing. I'd really like to do more of it in the future. I think it's very beautiful. And obviously you have to be careful with it and wear gloves and everything, but it looks really cool. And then I'm pretty sure I dyed this with, uh, acid dyes. Although silk is cool because you can dye silk with both, uh, cellulose fiber dyes. Um, so like Procyon reactive dyes. Um, or you can dye them with which are protein. So there's like three basic kinds of uh, fiber. There's um, protein, which is like wool, silk, like animal hair, human hair. And um, those are dyed in one way with one type of dye. And then there's plant fibers like cotton and uh, things like that that are dyed with a different type of dye. Yeah, silk is kind of cool because it acts like a little bit like a protein fiber and a little bit like a, a cellulose fiber. And then there's synthetics, which uh, can be dyed, some of them, but usually uh, it's more of an intense process and not usually something that you would do at home. Although nylon can be dyed in the same way that protein fibers are dyed. So like nylon tights, like tights are usually like, you know, 99% nylon or around there. And you can dye those with Kool-Aid, um, like a protein fiber. You can dye wool and you can dye your hair with uh, Kool-Aid as well. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's a little fibers lesson for you. Here's some nylon actually. This was a pair of 
Tschüss.